the right hander Aaron Brooks who makes his fifth Baltimore start 29 year old out of California 6'4 230. This is his fourth career appearance against the Blue Jays. Nice to have Lord Escorial Jr. back in the lineup. He left the ball game on Wednesday afternoon in Kansas City. There's a drive down the left field line. This is going to be a fair ball. Bounces up against the fence. Peterson plays it back in. Gurriel will slide in safely with a two out double. And the Blue Jays are threatening with two down. And Vladimir Guerrero Jr. coming up. The pitch from the right hander. Wrapped on the ground towards the hole. Through. Base hit into left field. Peterson's up with the throw and it's way off line. Gurriel taps the dish, and the Blue Jays take a 1 0 lead. Two on, two out here in the first. There's a drive into the alley. That's going to get down and score one for sure. Vladdy Guerrero comes in. 2 0 Toronto here in the first. And a foul tip held by Severino. Drury's down on strikes, and that retires the side. But Wilmer Font is the opener, a role that he had with the Tampa Bay Rays last season. He made a couple of starts with the New York Mets earlier this year, and now he's been pressed into duty with open slots in the rotation after the trade deadline arrived. 3-2, swing and a miss. Good pitch up in the zone, a 94-mile-an-hour fastball thrown by Font. There's a high pop-up. This is playable. Brandon Drury, the first baseman in foul ground, and Wilmer Font gets out of the bottom of the first. Danny Jansen, the Blue Jays catcher, he has hits in three straight. 0-1, swinging a ground ball left side, pulled to Nunez at third, backhands, overhand throw is there, two down. We contact right back to Brooks, and the other hand toss, and a 10-pitch, three up, three down inning for Aaron Brooks. Two up and two down. Chancisco, the batter, Font throws the one-two. Check swing, did he go? Called by the home plate umpire for going around. That's strike three. Second strikeout for Wilmer Font, who arrives and does his job. There's Gurriel Jr., the pitch. Grounded to third. Nunez again plays it cleanly. And gets it across in time, so two down. And the one-two is swung out and hit into the shift. That's Jonathan Villar. He gets it the first, and that'll do it. Three innings of two-run ball for Brooks. Two scoreless innings after the first. He's settled down somewhat. Kingham now coming into the ball game. 24 games this year with a 7-6-9 earned run average. Pitch is swung on and missed. He struck him out. Danny Jansen digs it out of the dirt and tags Davis before he can run away. Two on, two out for Anthony Santander. The 1-0. There it is, and it's hit on the ground. Into the shift. Bichette cuts it off in front of Galvis. Throws to first on the run and winds up at the foul line behind first base. Terrific play by Bo Bichette to end this third inning. Freddie Galvis leading off in the Toronto fourth. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. Freddie Galvis has left the yard. A bomb up over that high scoreboard just shy of Utah Street, and a fan throws it back all the way to third base. Some kind of arm on that fan as Galvis crosses the plate. And a swing and a miss, strike three. Good change up by Brooks. And down goes Fisher. One, two, fastball, strike three. Down goes Jansen. Peterson bounced out the shortstop in the shift, his first that bat. The 2 2 pitch, swing and a miss. And Lourdes watches from the left field line as Kingham strikes out Peterson. 3 1 pitch at hard on the ground to third. Couple of hops to Guerrero, throw across the diamond, and the inning is over. A 1-2-3 frame for Nick Kingham. Guriel doubled and scored in the first. He got that rally going. And he gets him. Breaking ball upstairs. So Guriel down on strikes two away. That is a big, big out for Aaron Brooks. Swing a slow ground ball to short. Two hops to Martin. Sucks it up. Throws to first guy. And Brooks gets out of the jam. Lead off double. Runner at third. One out. Nothing across for the Jays. Blue Jays looking to expand a 3-0 lead with Freddie Galvis coming up. Ground ball to second, VR to Martin, back to first with that solid arm and a double play. So the old 4-6-3 erases that leadoff walk and two down. Bases are empty for Brandon Drury as he rolls forward, the 2-1. That's hit in the air out to deep left field. Back goes Peterson at the track, stopped by the wall. Goodbye! And Toronto has hit their second home run of the night. And now it's 4-0 Toronto. Swing at a chopper right side, slowly hit past you know to the second baseman VR underhands to first for the outs. We'll see if the Orioles can get something going here. The 0-1 pitch. That's hit high in the air out to deep left field. Nope, it's gonna hang up. Racing in Guriel goes into a slide. The catch is made. Guriel came racing in. Ground ball. The chef positioned perfectly, and the video gets out of it. Gives up a single and nothing more. One on one out for Chris Davis. That ball's crushed to right field. 
Back it goes, and that ball is gone. And it gets the O's back in the game. It's 4-2. to two. Another full count pitch. Swing and a miss. Gavilio strikes him out. And the Blue Jays have their leadoff batter aboard in this ninth inning. Line drive, base hit to center field. Here comes Gavis around third. Here's the throw from Santander. It is not in time. Derek Fisher with his first hit as a Blue Jay gives the Jays a big run here in the ninth. And the Orioles will send Trey Mancini to the plate as the tying run. Bounce on the ground towards Blatty. He picks it at third. Short way to second to finish the ball game. It wasn't easy, but the Blue Jays got it done. 